Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here. We're going to be doing a scripting tutorial today on click detection. So let's go ahead and jump on into it here. So as you can see, I've done some uh, preparation beforehand for this tutorial. So we got two buttons here, both with uh, uh, click detectors in here, and each one. And um, so we got our door here, and then we got two buttons here that we're going to program today. So let's just start off by um, going over how the uh, click detection actually works. So let's um, define our buttons here in the script. So do local, you know, uh, open equals workspace dot uh, open, and then local close equals workspace dot close. Okay, so now to actually detect the uh, buttons when they're clicked, we're going to do open dot click detector and um, mouse click. Okay, so you can see we got multiple mouse events in here. We got a mouse click, uh, mouse enter, mouse leave, right mouse click. Today we're just going to be going over mouse click. Of course, you can use the um, other ones also with basically the same format. You know, you just got to tweak a little bit. So let's go with mouse click here. And we're going to do connect. Make sure we get that capital C in there. I want the lowercase, you know, um, deprecated version of that connect function or connect event. So, um,. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually detect when this button is pressed or not. So we're going to go make it an anonymous function here and not make extra parentheses. Okay, and then we're going to do print open clicked. Okay, to prove that um, this, this is actually being detected through the script that we have here. So just to show you how simple it is here. So we got the open here and now in the console you can see we got open clicked up here and down here when we click the button. Okay, that's that's all fine and dandy there so let's um clean that up a little bit let's go let's make a function for this okay so now we're gonna do something uh, with the door instead of you know just um, having it sit there like that so let's let's clean that up and let's get a close click detector mouse click connect new connect right not the old one okay there we go let's do a function all right and we're gonna do function open open door why not sounds good enough so we're gonna go ahead and do um, let's get the uh, the door in here also so let's go ahead and do uh, local door equals workspace dot door okay obviously it's not going to be in your workspace if you're if you're making your own model or something it's probably going to be within your model it would be be best practices actually to put the script within your model not have it like floating around in the workspace here like I have it so you know just change your uh, you know your parent paths as um as needed okay so let's let's go ahead and we're gonna use the tween service today for um, for uh, moving the door so dude game get service tween service if you haven't seen my tween service tutorial you know you should check it out it's a uh, pretty pretty informative so now we'll do um, info equals um, uh, tween info yeah dot new and just do three second wait okay I'm not gonna go very into um, the uh, tween tween service right now I'm just gonna go kind of pretty quick over it because I already did a video on it Let's see, so now we need um next part here. So we need to define where um the part is actually gonna go to. Actually no, we need to define yeah, so we need the goals here. So we're gonna do um goal open equals empty table, goal open dot position. Actually no, we're gonna do C frame, okay. C frame equals um um, door dot C frame plus vector three dot new zero five. Now let's do. Let's see how big, how tall is this door here? So we're gonna go up by its height. So yeah, so it's fourteen studs high. So we'll do fourteen blocks higher, and then we're gonna do goal close equals empty table goal close dot C frame equals door dot C frame minus vector three dot new zero fourteen zero okay so that's gonna um be our positions there so let's go ahead and create the uh, the tweens for this so we're gonna do um door close equals tween service create okay and then we're gonna do door do info and then we're gonna do um 
our goal close. Okay, so goal close. All right, and then we're gonna do door door open equals tween service create door info goal open. Okay, so now we've got the, these both kind of sitting here. We can play them as needed. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a door door open. Play here for the the open function. So it's just gonna call upon this uh, this tween here to play. And do function close door and then door close play. Okay. So now it's gonna call those two functions. So let's go ahead and set that to reflect here in the actual click detectors. So open door. All right. And then close door. Okay, simple enough. Let's see. Let's see if it actually works, though. Right? That's the that's the important part. Okay. All right, and there you have it. The door slowly opens, and the door goes into the shadow realm. Okay, let's let's fix that. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's do zero here. Uh, just return it back to the uh, original position, maybe. Okay, so we got the door opening and then door shutting. Perfect. You got your open door here and then you can close the door behind you. Yada yada, okay? All right, so that that's the uh the basic tutorial on um click detection here. If you need um any more, you know, tips on how to do this, actually, let's let's do one more thing with these buttons. Let's go ahead and do some of the other functions that we have available to us. So if we're gonna do, let's see, so open dot click detector dot uh, mouse. So we have mouse hover enter. So let's let's use that to our advantage here. So uh, connect function, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and just change the material of the button. So we'll do open dot material equals anim dot material dot neon. Okay. So it's gonna look like the button's kind of glowing when you hover over it. And um, it'll make it more, you know, interactive to the player. It's going to let the player know they can uh, obviously click this button here because, you know, players are not, don't pay attention most of the time, you know. So let's do mouse, mouse hover leave, um, connect, and we can uh, set this button back. Okay, so we'll do open. Let's finish typing this here. You know, short attention span, material. Equals enum dot material dot plastic is the original material we had here. Okay, so let's just do the same thing for close here. Close dot click detector dot mouse hover enter. Okay, connect function and um, I'm just using anonymous functions for these two events here because I mean it's really really simple. Uh, things we're doing right now. All we're doing is changing the material. There's not really a um, a need to make a uh, function, a specific function for this, you know. So I'm just going to do anonymous functions for now. You know, it's fine to use them. You know, just don't go too crazy. Hover, leave. Okay. Alright, and then we're going to change the material back to um, plastic here. Alright. Plastic. All right, so there we go. So now we should be able to go into the uh, the workspace there, and then when our mouse hovers over that, it's gonna light up. It's gonna look amazing, right? Okay. Whoa! Look at that. Now, now you can really tell that. You press press this freaking button, man. It's 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 the bee's knees. All right. So as you can see, door opens, and the door door isn't gonna break if we click this too many times. It's gonna interrupt, you know, the tween a little bit, but you know. Not bad. You know, we could make it go to the side, too. So, you know, if you don't want the door floating into the, the damn void or wherever that door is going, let's go ahead and just shift it 14 over on the, the x-axis here. Have it give it a different effect here. All right, so there we go. Now we got it sliding over to the side there, and now we got more of a, more of a, a different effect going on. So that returns it to its original spot. You can see it cleanly goes inside this block here. And yeah, so that would be useful basically in any game. So, you know, this is good stuff to know. Um, so now I think I've covered an exceptional amount of the uh, click detectors. 
So um, if you need any more information on click detectors, don't hesitate to ask. You know, post a comment in the comment section, post a script. You know, I'll I'll do my best to troubleshoot it and get your script working. Whatever. Uh, remember to drop a like. You know, check out my other tutorials I got on the channel and uh, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and that's that's all there is, man.